All righty. It is time for some lakes. That's right. It's time to get wet. No, that's a weird intro. Let's just stick with four lakes. Uh, here in the red, we have Gizki. Gizki playing as the Franks. And then here in the blue, or the crispy blue, uh, crispy with an H, we have Goths. Uh, and this is 900 ELO, my friends. And when I started off the Loey the Legend series, I started off saying 1,000 ELO and below is Loey the Legends. And I will extend an olive branch in my commentary and say that nowadays 900 ELO is pretty freaking good. Now, there still are massive misplays from time to time. They still are Loey the Legends. No offense to you. I know there's someone out there watching at 999 ELO who's like, I'm not. Yeah. But no, like you guys still are low ELO legends, but these players are significantly better than they were uh, when I started off the series back in the day. So uh, Crispy Blue playing as the Goths and Giski playing as the Franks. I would hazard a guess that these players do not like to play a lot of random Civ. Uh, some people like to pick Civ all the time. Some people like to go random for a little bit of spiciness. Franks has picked a lot. Goths has picked a lot. I think both of these civs are in the top five of picked civilizations. And would make sense, of course, if you're trying to improve. Uh, or if you want to get a little bit better to, to practice one civ for a bit. And that's maybe what we have here. Franks are known for their devastating scout rushes. Goths are known for their devastating infantry rush. But already, guys, we have a talking point. And this is what I wanted to bring up here at the start. It's how to play four lakes. I've been talking about it for two years, and then you have Crispy Blue doing his own thing. So, it's important on a water map that you skip the mill until later on in the game. It's so important that, like Red, you send four to five villagers to wood. This is what I suggest. So, you start off, have your food, of course, but then four to five villagers to wood, and then instead of a mill, make a dock. And then try and produce fishing ships. Oh, he's going to do it, too. Now, he has struggled a little bit because... His villagers are clumpy clumping over here, but um, but I think Red is actually going to dock. And then if you're producing villagers out of your TC, but you're also producing fishing ships out of the dock, you're going to have more eco. Fishing ships really give you a strong economy. And if you can get that build down against all the millers at 900 elo, you're going to completely destroy them. Because come feudal age, your eco is going to be much stronger. Now, Blue is just crazy in general, though, because, I mean, he's killed every single goose he can see, except for these two. He forgot to make a house. He went not only for an early mill and then chopping straggler trees for wood, but he's got seven on berries. So, Crispy Blue is probably a 900 ELO player who didn't really get here with build orders. And so, in my experience while casting Age of Empires 2, the players who have the build orders might be a little slower. Just think about it. Build orders are, they tend to be, they tend to provide you with a framework that will lead to more efficiency, okay? So if they're at the same elo and red is doing the more efficient thing, something tells you that red's gonna be lacking in other ways and I would normally guess speed, but I could be wrong on that. Um, it could be maybe he doesn't get blacksmith upgrades or something. So uh, a bunch of people in my chat saying this is my elo, good to, good to see. Good to hear. I probably don't do this ELO enough for you guys. Uh, so sorry about that. But you guys know with low ELO, sometimes it's fun to see the ridiculous stuff like the quadruple barracks and the 900 ELO players. They've they've got their they've got their stuff down pat for the most part. All right. So for now, you're not really thinking about units. Uh, it's it's kind of interesting here. So I said that you would have more eco working for you. If you go for the dock, but because Red hasn't created villagers out of his TC consistently, he's actually a teensy bit behind. But I still think this is going to end up being better, and he's going to bring in his next boar now. And the downside of docking is it's a little bit more difficult. You have to focus on the dock and the TC and the houses and the boars, and it's, it is hard work. All right, Blue on his way up already to the feudal age. Brandon says your commentary on 900 ELO games can be very helpful. The commentary on 500 ELO, not so much. Well, if you're 900 ELO, I, I don't think my commentary on 500 ELO necessarily helps you. But there's a lot of mistakes 500 ELOers make that 900 ELOers make too. So I, I think as Blue's going to steal these goats, I'm telling you, Blue's a crazy player. 
I can already tell. Blue, the houses are no particular order. One boar was underneath the TC. One was next to the mill. The players who go with the flow and just go by feel are actually really good because that's something that takes time to build up. And, and like, the order in which some people do things is just different. Some people start with build orders, and then they have to play 100 or 200 games before they get the feel where they can adapt and do what Blue's doing without a build. Other people, so they're just like Blue all the time, and they forget about their bills here, and I think he wants to go man-at-arms. He's going to gold. Okay. Are these fishing ships actually working? <gasps> oh, no! They've been idle the whole time! Oh, no! No, no, I was gonna say, why doesn't he have the res? He went for the build order, he's practicing, but he misclicked it, and these three fishing ships aren't collecting any resources. He would have brought in maybe 300 food with those fish already. Oh, and he clearly doesn't realize either. Oh... Well, here comes Blue, and Blue's making militia. No! No! Because at this point, their ecos are essentially the same, right? As as Blue forgot houses, and they're going to make a bunch of random ones. Their ecos are essentially the same, because it's all land eco. So you typically do age up a little bit later if you have the dock, but then you've got... Uh, could be more than this. Okay, wait, does he know now? Tell me he knows now. Hold on, I'm going to tab into the actual game and look at his gather point real quick. Don't... I hope this doesn't stress you guys out. Let's see. Gather point. Oh, it's so close. Look at that. It's so close to being on the fish. Okay. Well, anyways. Blue's making the militia. Looking at Blue's scouting. Look at, look at how random this is. I'm telling you, Blue's a crazy player. I could tell from Dark Age that Blue does some wacky stuff. This is a player we might need to watch more. Look, he's scouting with the militia, basically. Is he going to go in with... Forget a two-pronged attack, like a six-pronged attack? All right, no eco upgrades. Fast blacksmith. Um, red now making a stable. A little casually, right? Would have maybe 600 food in the bank if those four fishing ships were working. Still doesn't know. Still doesn't know. And five man-at-arms will wreck red because red doesn't have scout numbers. If Red had five scouts, it'd be different, but Red's taking his good old time here. I think what I'd suggest for 900 ELO players is that they scout their opponent's base a bit more. Especially if you're worried you get rushed. See what they're up to. This shouldn't come as a massive surprise to you. If you see they're on gold, always check their gold if they're on gold. You should know they might go archers or might go man-at-arms. What's funny is I think he's scouting the opponent's shoreline to see if his opponent is docked. Anyways, Blue is really taking his good old time here. And he's going to show his hand now. I don't know if Red will ever realize <laughs> that his fishing ships aren't working. And he's not experienced enough to really have a feel for it. Because like for me, I'd be like, why don't I have food? Or as much food, you know? Okay, let's see how Red does here. That's a lot of man-at-arms. That's nine man-at-arms. Oh, man, this is so much. This is so much pressure. No, 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 don't. The worst thing you can do is fight with low numbers. Don't panic, don't panic. Fall back. Okay, fall back. Archery range is good. If you can set that... No, no, no. Put your units on no attack stance, my friend. There you go. Maybe baiting him into the TC. Bait, bait. Garrison, garrison, garrison. Panic. During these panicky moments, by the way, the fishing ships would be working. Oh, man. He brought in... He would have brought in so much food. But he hasn't lost a ton. Blue's crazy. Blue's crazy. No eco upgrades, just spamming men at arms. A 900 elo. And it's pretty well executed, too. He's now going to add a few spears because he sees scouts out. Now, Red's under pressure right now, and he really needs to make houses so he can make stuff. And, and you can see these villagers are idle. But let me look at the APM stats real quick. I'm surprised. It actually looks like Red seems to be doing a little more, but it doesn't feel like that as Red comes in for a counterattack, which is a smart move. Hey, sir. 
Oh, there's no loom for blue? There's still people at 900 ELO that don't have loom? What? Are you kidding? Well, rip goes the scout, rip goes the barracks. Blue didn't even react to this. Well, he did react, actually. But, doink! Villager's dead, and the spear's now over here. Goths get loom instantly, by the way. It's not free, but they get loom instantly. So, I mean, there's a loom bonus. And the... F <laughs> the fishing ships, man! <laughs> the fishing ship! This brings me so much pain! <laughs> I just don't... I hope he doesn't lose and then give up on the fishing, you know? Like, what if he loses and he says, screw T90 suggestions, fishing doesn't do anything. He's got 500 food without these fishing ships working the entire game. He would have brought in over 1k food with these four fishing ships. As we see forward villagers from red, he might be tempted to tower the woodline or something. Blue, I, I was, I was going to say it, he really needed to just commit further to the rest of red's economy. And finally, he does. I mean, red's wide open to this. Red didn't prep any walls or anything towards the TC. Okay, more villagers going down. Still villagers over here. I guess at this point, red really needs wood. And don't tell me he's going to try and dock the opponent's fish. You're joking me. Guys, I think what he's trying to do is he wants to dock the opponent's pond to take out the fishing ships that don't exist. This, this isn't the closest game right now. Well, it might be if Red uses his archers. But I I can't help but feel like this is the most unfortunate game Red has played. <laughs> he knows that water's important, but the fish aren't working. And then he's going to try and dock. But if he eventually docks, there's not going to be any fish to find. He just can't make it up as he really needs to back away. Uh, stress. Pain. Run. 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 Villager's garrison. He's on the way to Castle H. Ah! Oh. Ooh. Smile in chat if you're stressed out with this one. This is very stressful. And I'm sure you guys have placed up against Goths before, so you probably hate blue right now. Oh, my word. Okay, run, 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 run. Again, no upgrades, right? Doesn't even have fletching. He can't even afford another archer right now. Because he doesn't have wood income. Whew. Well, Lawrence, thank you for the sub. I want to say that. Appreciate it. Guys, 100% of the uh, subscription goes directly towards me here. A lot of people don't know that yet. We just crossed 500 today, which is sick. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. You can support by going to the overview tab. Whether you're watching a video here or uh, on the stream. Might not be quite like that on mobile, depending on uh, what phone you're using, but... Should be an overview tab for most of you. Blue now is going up. And if you look at the worker efficiency last minute, the worker efficiency has been much better for blue. And I can't help but feel like the worker efficiency is going to be in the toilet regardless for red because these are workers. And so that idle time is just nuts. Those four fishing ships have been idle ever since they, you know, were, were born into existence. Were born into existence? I guess they're not born. They were created. So here goes Red. He's getting cav armor. So he's like, I could use knights right now, which is not bad. But he doesn't have wood for a stable. And wait a second. Hey, they're working. Hey, yeah. Woo. Woo. Let's go, baby. Let's go. And now he's, now he's got some food income. Let's go. Some stonks, baby. We're going up. To the moon. This is sad, though, because it's a never-ending cycle with your wood. I guess if he could get more on wood, he could maybe afford a stable. This is really the time that he needs to take engagements. I don't know if you guys have ever played any other RTS games, but Blue clearly... Like, like, either he just learned Age of Empires without, you know, watching any videos or anything, or he came from another game and he's got his own distinct style, because it's, uh... It's fascinating. Anyways, I, I say abandon your gold for now, Red. Just just don't don't make this worse for yourself. You see the pointy boys are there. Maybe the problem is he doesn't see this, but just run away. Don't loot more villagers. And we have wow, a lot of a lot of resources being sold. 
And wait, did he just sell a thousand wood and then buy a bunch of stone? And now he's going to mine the next 50 stone to get the castle? Crispy Blue, you are... Um, you've got some unique strats there, buddy. Hey, there's the stable for Red. But finally he has the stable, and now he can make some knights. And he just needs a few knights to be able to clear this. And he's going to make even another stable now. Finally, he's bringing in food. So he's brought in a couple hundred food with that. And we should see the castle soon for Crispy Blue. Who is going for wood upgrades now. Remember, he didn't have any eco upgrades for a bit. You'll see the knight go this way. This should be an easy clear up for the knight. Which means that Red can now take gold. And all right. Hmm. Yo, Manalo, thank you for the stars. Sorry, it won't I actually have to tab out real quick because I can't see the full message here because it's a super long message and I'm dumb. Um, okay. Manalo, thanks for the stars. He says, this is uh, just what I can afford. Love your casting. Please, T90, can you feature my game submission on Discord? It's called If I Lose, I Uninstall AoE. Uh, that's also what Red's game is called. That's also what Red's going to call this. This could easily be won by Red. Fishing ship's OP! Fishing ship's OP! Can they quick wall a 900 elo? Or is Crispy Blue gonna th throw this? He's going for the killer castle. This castle will not complete. And oh boy, you're kidding me. Wow, anyways, I'll have to finish that message in a sec. I'm sure that, uh, uh, hello? Hello? Red? <laughs> Red! Don't you? No! No, 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 no! Red! I know you want to be a chivalrous guy, all right? You're Frank, so you can research chivalry. It only makes sense. But please don't tell me. Please don't... Oh, he doesn't even see it anymore. Oh my god, I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. This is the most ridiculous Lel game I may have ever seen. That castle will go up. And Red is going to freak out, man. <laughs> oh my god. It was right there. Meanwhile, the knights come in. But you can tell Red clearly isn't looking there. Because, well, maybe he is. No, he noticed at home pretty quick. All right. Well, I was going to mention earlier, the thing about 900 ELO I noticed is that players have a lot more fight. Uh, at like 600, people will resign over small stuff. But oh my word. Thank God he's got his fish working now for food. His units are on stand ground. He's a very stressed boy. And I think what you need if you're crispy blue is pikemen right now. But how on earth is this a game? And Husk Girls are going to run into Red's eco. Red doesn't have any defense. Red needs another TC really quickly here. Oh, but he could have he could have denied the castle and then he could have just he could have camped it. And dropped his own castle or something. He, he could have still sent the knights forward, but you've got to kill that bill. Oh, my word. Well, more knights coming forward for Red, who currently has the presence of mind to think, let's just still counterattack, which is a high elo outlook. And Blue doesn't getting blacksmith upgrades right now at all, which means his spearmen are going to die to knights in 1v1 numbers. Not the best execution from Red's knights. Here he goes. Blue also is just attacking the buildings here, but he is producing a lot of husk girls, so it feels like any moment Red could lose everything here. And I think it's more likely that Red is going to lose all of his bills than Blue is going to lose all of his bills. Because Blue at least has some defense. Yeah. Should be decent enough for him. Whereas if these husks go in, that could be the game right there. Oh my word. And now the knights come back. And now you can see panic setting in for Red. As the TC will go down. It's still interesting, though, right? Because the knights could kill this amount of husk girls. So red coming back at the proper time really needs to just give up on this area. Also, blue's decided that fishing is now a thing and is going to fish in all the ponds. So it's interesting. This is actually super good. It's interesting he did it now. 
Maybe he'll do the same with a blacksmith and he'll have a blacksmith in every corner soon and he'll actually get upgrades. I don't know. Okay. Please TC here, Red. You need some protection, my friend. He's going back out. Blue seems a little scared right now to run forward. He seems a little hesitant as we have another TC for Red. I would say expanding is the name of the game here. But he's going... Okay, he's going to leave this, I think. But I think you need some gold too, Red. Here he comes. Could maybe use the market, sell some of that food. Both players could to get some gold. With the pikeman upgrade, Blue's fine at home. He doesn't have pikeman. He doesn't have loom! I forgot about the fact that he didn't even have loom with that with those villagers that went forward. Red, instead of dropping a town center, will now drop a wall of stables and houses. It's a it's called the Stouse Wall. The stable house wall. And since he doesn't have pikes, it will take him longer to kill this, but he will actually kill this. Which to me confirms he's winning, and he's kind of surrounding his opponent. Like he's got a TC here. A TC here. This is a blessing in disguise. Uh, the fact that he's looking here right now is a blessing in disguise because he needs to leave this with his with his villagers and go somewhere else. That's pretty inefficient. Anyways, back to Manalo stars. Thank you for the stars. Um, I, I will see if I can take a look. It's really tough for me. You have to understand, right? If you really want me to cast one of your games, there are other people as well. And this is not me. This is, I'm not trying to come off like, brr -her. I'm too popular for you or anything. It's nothing like that, but... It's tough for me to be able to, to do that and do everything else. Um, but, you know, we will... We, the game submissions is there for a reason. Let's put it that way. And uh, I, it sounds like an interesting title. If I lose, I uninstall AoE. But now I want to steal that title. Honestly. I want to steal that title and give it to this video, maybe. Oh, you're kidding me, man. No, I think this is the most unfortunate AoE game. Look, he's getting chain barding armor for his knights. Let's see if he actually completes this. You're joking. You've got to be kidding me. It's going to get denied. And it's going to get denied at 90%. And that was his only hope right now. His only hope is to have good upgrades. Because we know he's not going to compete with numbers. Not against the gods. So he thinks he has the upgrade. Or maybe not. Because he's making another blacksmith. Still no pikeman upgrade for blue, as he's just spamming units all the time. So he must not be experienced enough to know builds. He must not be experienced enough to know he doesn't have pike yet. But he clearly has some RTS skill. And I, I mentioned this in Dark Age. And wow. Oh my goodness. Man, from the fishing ships. And this, this guy's never going to make fishing ships again. He's never going to make fishing ships again because he's like, well, I still lost. So, T90, your suggestions suck. That was unlucky. At higher ELOs, I'd make arguments you should notice that. But at this ELO, I can understand. Uh, and then, he got man at arm rushed. And he was, he was even with the opponent's eco when he should have been ahead. The castle thing, I mean, I'm just not really sure what went wrong there. I have a theory. We're going to go back and look at that. Is it possible that when he looked there... His knights were blocking the villager. We're going to just zoom backwards here real quick. Shout out to Capture Age for this. Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? There. Okay. Let's let's go back to this moment. Okay. So he comes in with the knights. My only thought is the reason he didn't kill the vill is because his knights blocked the vision of that vill for a second. Okay. Let's see. Kind of hard to see her. Okay. Now you can see her. Nope, I tried. Red, I re <laughs> Red, I really tried to explain that away, buddy. I tried for you, okay? I really tried to explain that away. Hey, yeah. <laughs> but it was clear as day. She's right there with no loom. And yeah. I think if that gets denied, that's at 50%, right? You could drop a TC here if you're red. You could also wall it in if you're red. He was just... He thought, I cleared up the vills, hey, and now I counterattack, and now I win, basically. That was his thought process. Um, and truthfully, if that castle doesn't go up, I think red's completely fine. Not, not completely fine. Blue is clearly going to make a lot of pikes, but there's opportunities for you, I think, in the future with Franks. But, oh, man. So, yes, it was unlucky for red. It was also unfortunate for red. And it was just... 
it was just painful for Ed. It, it was a game to forget if you're him and maybe one to remember. What a crazy game. That is ridiculous. Economically speaking, we had more wood, food, and gold for blue. And I think this stems back to the amount of idle time Red had. Let's look at the total idle time. It was two hours and 11 minutes of idle time if you add up all of his eco. He was in and out of his town centers. He was trying to wall constantly, and he didn't have fishing ships working for half the game. So that added up real quick for him. The KD was good for Red. He was taking good trades, even got good kills, but ultimately didn't have the resources to make more uh, knights and, of course, didn't even finish the upgrades. Not that that would have mattered. And uh, that's all she wrote for good, good old Giski. I actually want to look at Crispy Blue's profile real quick because if I had to guess this player... Plays a lot of goths. Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like plays occasionally. Doesn't play a ton, as you can see. Awesome games, won some games. These games seem like they were normal length. You see a plus five streak and you think, oh, this guy could be higher rated, but games look normal length. But yeah, does he go goths every game? Goths, goths, goths. Mouse puddles. That's actually a longtime viewer of mine. Lithuanians. Franks, Franks. Okay, so he picks some of the. Some of the beginner civilizations, like Goths and Franks. Those are common civ picks. And yeah, lots and lots of Goths. Whew. No loom, no upgrades. Just got the victory anyways.